What up guys, it's your boy Oil Producer. Today I'm gonna to share some quick tips on how to change your oil on a 2017 and up Yamaha R6. So let's get started. All right guys, so I'm actually doing my first oil change uh, myself on this 2019 Yamaha R6. The first one was actually done by the dealer at its, at its 600 mile first service interval. Um, so today is actually my first time doing it on my bike. It's long overdue. I'm kind of lazy with the maintenance, which is bad, but uh, we're finally going to get to it. Um, so I just want to share some quick tips. Uh, this is not a full tutorial. You guys can find tons of other YouTube videos on how to change the oil on the R6. Uh, I just want to give you my quick tips and uh, kind of lessons learned that I found out. Uh, first off, um, you do not have to take off this fairing. Uh, I saw some other videos on YouTube saying that you should take off the fairing. It helps, but to be honest, it's a pain in the ass. There's so many bolts and all that. Um, the only thing that I would recommend, um, you could probably get away with, is probably take off this top panel, um, take out all the bolts. Um, you don't have to do the, the quick fasteners and all that. There's, there's some hidden quick fasteners under here to, to loosen up, um, but you really don't need to take this off. Uh, what you do need to take off is the lower fairing, which has uh, about around three bolts. So you take this lower fairing off. I actually did the liberty of actually draining the oil. Um, I'm actually at the part where I'm taking off the oil filter, uh, which I kind of want to share uh, with you guys. Since I did take my bike in for its 600 mile service, uh, the place that I brought it to, uh, it's a Yamaha dealer. Um, they freaking tightened the shit out of this thing. Uh, they probably used a wrench or something, uh, which is why I don't like taking my bikes to the shop um, to do it because they tend to over tighten things. My general rule of thumb, I, I hand tighten all my oil filters, so they're a lot easier to take off, right? So I kind of want to go through my pain points just to even get this filter off. Um, so one thing is, I bought this. I went to like Napa Auto Parts. Um, so obviously it attaches to standard ratchet. Didn't do shit actually. Um, it was slipping, right? So yeah, that's one thing. Second thing is I had this laying around. I use this on my cars and this is pretty awesome, but you don't have a lot of clearance on this, right? So I'm actually at the part where I have some movement right now on the filter itself. So let me show you guys uh, what I've used. I'm actually using this oil filter wrench and I highly recommend it. Um, it's one of those kind of uh, universal clamp down ones. Uh, I got this at Advanced Auto Parts. I'll show you guys once I get it out. But um, but yeah, this, this, this thing helps. Um, but even with this ratchet, it was still a pain in the ass to freaking uh, get up, to loosen up. So luckily I have uh, some black gas piping to use as a breaker bar. And yeah, that, that did the trick. So back to, back to the reason why you don't, you don't need to take off this fairing. You just need to get to a point where you can just have some wiggle room, right? As you guys can see, the filter is right here. And I applied my, uh, I know it's hard to see, but I applied the tool here and then my ratchet, right? You don't have to take off the entire filter. Um, what you need to do is, yes, you need to disconnect this shifter. And I have it in this position, so I have more room to work with. And you got to um, kind of rearrange these hoses so they're not in the way. Another thing is underneath this is uh, this plastic thing and there's a cable here I think there's this it's kind of hard to see there's a cable here I think this is the the cable that hooks up to your kickstand so it cuts off the engine that's my guess what this is uh, it's kind of the only logical thing make sure you unclip that and loosen this uh, plastic thing too um, so you have enough clearance um, to put a tool in and I recommend I definitely recommend this tool any of those uh, kind of octopus tools or three prong tools or anything that bites down when you tighten it, um, 
I don't think you have enough room for a strap oil wrench uh, filter, but this is pretty good. But yeah, guys, as you guys can see, um, the most painful part is actually just getting this freaking oil filter out. Um, and depending on where you get your first service, just be wary that, you know, they might tighten it down a lot. So learn from uh, my lessons and don't buy shit like this. I mean, this could theoretically work. Um, you could probably like wrap masking tape around the oil filter or put like some um, double-sided uh, tape and put some sandpaper to get some grip. Um, for me, this thing just, just slipped right off the bat. So I, it didn't give me enough leverage. Um, but yeah, this, this tool that bites down, uh, I definitely recommend it. Uh, Cause that, that gave me the, the, the grip finally to, to get this. And I'm using the OEM filter. Um, also, what oil am I gonna be using? Uh, I'm gonna be using Amsoil. Uh, 10w40 so I know a lot of people recommend uh, Yamalube and I mean it's it's all per personal preference mobile one it doesn't really matter I, I like Amsoil but just a just a FYI of what I use but yeah guys uh, I just wanted to conclude the video um, just describing my experience on my first oil change on the my 2019 R6 and I want to save you guys some time um, like I said, a lot of videos I saw, they, they tell you to take off this fairing. Definitely not necessary. Just take off this bottom fairing um, and get and loosen the fairing enough where you get enough play to actually put a tool in here and disconnect the shifter and rearrange it so you can get enough play uh, to get your tool in. All right, guys, so I'm gonna finish up taking off this oil filter this bitch and a half but yeah guys taking this thing off I'm telling you this was the hardest part of uh, this project this should be a, a very straightforward thing to do uh, oil doing oil change on your bike is the easiest uh, maintenance and best maintenance that you could do yourself so highly recommended but yeah uh, so this video is more about you know what what to do when you get a really stuck on oil filter, like in my case. Whoa, shit, okay. Okay. So it's draining. Whoa, okay, let's not spill oil all over the place, but. Yeah, guys, um, I would also recommend probably putting some uh, foil because it's actually dripping all over the place right now, but uh, that's all right, I'm just gonna wipe that shit off. But yeah, guys, um, I actually, I'm, I'm going to stick with the OEM filter. Um, I know a lot of people recommend k &N with the nuts and stuff, but, you know, they've had their, some issues with them failing. And some of them say it's resolved, but, you know, I don't want to take that chance. Plus, it's been at track days. But, uh, yeah, quick, quick shot of this tool. Um, I got this at Advanced Auto Parts. Um, it's one of these clamp style tools that tightens while um, you're trying to loosen it. So it's nice. But as you guys can see, the, it, it definitely started crushing the, the, air, the, the oil filter rather. But yeah, guys, so I'm just going to let this drain. Uh, but yeah, another tip is, yeah, definitely warm up your engine before you drain your oil. Um, and yeah, that's, that's about it. So yeah, guys, so until next time, this is your boy, Il Producer, signing out. Peace.